another day another problem so let's solve it hello guys i hope you are all doing well in this video we're gonna solve the problem merge interval so let's get started first i will show you a technique that i use to read the problem and try to visualize the solution a lot of people don't know how to read the problem correctly they think that the answer must not be from the questions but instead you can solve the problem from reading the questions and the details that they give us so let me show you an example of how you can solve the problem from just reading the question so the problem is that they give us an array of intervals where each intervals have two value inside a list that have the start and the end and they ask us to merge all the overlapping intervals and return an array of non-overlapping intervals that cover all the intervals in the input. So as you can see, sometimes the answer is inside the problem question. You just need to break the problem question into pieces and visualize the solution. So let's say we have this list of intervals. So the first thing we're going to do is to sort all the intervals by their starting value from less to greatest. And then we're going to create an output result array where we're going to store all the non-overlapping intervals. And then we're going to start iterating throughout the sorted interval array. So the first interval will directly be push to the result array and we're gonna move to the next value and if it's this next interval intersect with the last interval in the result array means we're gonna check if the start of the current interval is less than the end of the interval inside the result array if true we extend the interval inside the result array by changing the value of the end to be the end of the current interval for example here we have this interval with the start one and the end value is three inside the result array and we have the current interval of the start 2 and the end 6. So they intersect in the 3 and 2. So we're going to eliminate the end and the start and group the 1 and 6 value inside the array inside the result. But there is a case when we'll have an array with the start and the end inside another array intervals that have the value start and the end. So we don't do anything and we skip to the next interval. And we continue iterating throughout the list of intervals when we keep adding each interval. If they not intersect with other intervals to the result array and finally we return the result array so let's jump at coding the solution first we initialize a result array. then we loop throughout the sorted interval array we check out the first if the result is empty or after the first iteration we add the first interval we check if the end is smaller than the current interval start value we append the current interval to the result array Else, we change the result interval and value to be the max between the current interval and value inside the result and the current interval and value. And finally, we return the result array. So the time complexity of the solution is often log n because we perform a sorting algorithm on the interval list. The sorted function has a time complexity of, of of n log n for the most data type. The rest of the solution has a time complexity of of n as it's involve a single loop throughout the sorted interval list. And as we know in complexity analysis, we drop the less significant terms. And for the space complexity is of n as the result array will contain a maximum of n intervals means that the size of the output array depend on the size of the input array that's it guys thanks for watching see you in the next video